Hello everybody, how's it going? Dragonflight has bought a handful of new hunter pets and even if there aren't any that are really standing out, there are some color variations that are quite unique, either because they are in a very hidden spot or because they are werewolves that get heavily camped, there are definitely still pets out there many people may have missed. So today we will talk about exactly those. And first of all, I want to admit a mistake that I made. You see, I uploaded a video during the release of Dragonflight about the Golden Fairy Dragon pet and how rare it is. Well, during the beta, it was really rare, but apparently on the live servers, this pet is also obtainable in this cave in Faldoises. Nonetheless, you still need to be able to tame lesser dragonkins, which you can learn after reaching Renown level 23 with the Valdragon Accord. But my apologies to everyone who did the incredibly annoying way of getting the rare in the Wailing Caverns. I am sorry. Whew. With that out of the way, let's take a look at some cool hunter pets. First we have a water snail, which is the blue version of a magma snail, which you all should be familiar with. This is an exotic beast and only tameable by beastmasters and it can be found in the western coast of the Waking Shores. Not necessarily a rare pet, but definitely a unique one. And since it's so out of the way, many players may have never seen it. The respawn time is about 10 to 15 minutes long and there are two of these not too far away from each other, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find one for yourself. Then we have Karkadem, which is the red version of the Armoredons. He can be found in this cave in the south of the Unarmon Plains and has a very regular respawn time, so it should probably be active when you go there. This beast is the only red version of his creature and definitely worth a look. He is considered a scale high pet, which makes him pretty tanky and also tameable by everyone. Next on our list is Nergazuai, and for him we have a little story. You see in the Yonawan Plains is a quest which is also called Nergazuai, and the quest giver had a contact with a beast and got wounded badly, so you need to get him some things for medicine. As a Torwin player, you might be familiar with his story. In Mulgo there is a quest, Maswanachi or something like that, which is basically the exact same story. A guy had a fight with a beast and got wounded and needs things for medicine. And the sherry on top? While Maswanachi is a pink tall strider, Negazuai is a pink horn strider. A nice little callback to his old school quest. However, Negazuai is a rare mob that sometimes can be found running around in the south of your now plains. You will need to be level 70 to tame him and after finding him you can simply go for it. Next on our list we have the Lava Spider. These glowing spiders can be found atop of Skatequaker Keep and the reason many people didn't notice them is because when you quested there with your first character you didn't have flying unlocked yet. And since the spiders are only in high places where you don't get without flying, they can easily be missed. However, they are just tameable without any preparation and I think they have quite a unique appearance. Next there is a pet I first didn't want to include but I think I should definitely mention him, the Forgotten Griffin. Many of you know him as this one rare mob who spawns on top of a mountain and he actually is tameable. Kind of. There just is a small problem. Due to level scaling, he will not be tameable 24 hours after hitting level 70, which is the reason I didn't want to include him. Also in case you aren't level 70 yet, this is a rare mob that drops good endgame gear and also his respawn will be shown on the map so many players will instantly go there and kill it. Additionally, in order to tame him, you need to be able to tame undead beasts as well as feather mains. Which means first you need to get the simple tome of bone binding, which you can get from enemies in Maldraxxus in the Shadowlands, in order to learn undead taming, but also you need the tome of hybrid taming, which you can buy in the Hunter's Order Hall after completing the entire Hunter Order Hall campaign as well as the Broken Shore campaign for your mount. And one more thing, it won't spawn unless the NPC Avis Griffinhardt is standing around. Just as a little advice. So yeah, this one is a pain to get. Let's hope the level scaling thing will change in the future so level 70 hunters still have a chance to get him. By the way, please leave a sub, thanks! And now, last but definitely not least, we have the green and purple Rhymeclaw bears. And those are very interesting to get. In order to get them, you need to have a skinning profession or you need a friend with a skinning profession to help you. You need to choose the specialization Bait Crafter and after spending at least 10 points, you need to spend 20 more points in Mastery because then you can craft baits with which you can lure different rare animals which would give better skinning rewards. 
If you use the bait in a zone where Rhyme Claw Bears are around, you have a small chance to lure an elusive Rhyme Claw Bear to your location. These can be in six different color schemes. The green and purple ones can only be found on these lured creatures. The bait itself has a cooldown of 12 hours, but don't worry, the cooldown will be reduced every time you skin an animal. With a skill you need to have, it will be reduced by 60 minutes for every animal skinned. The best place to lure these bears is right here, and if you get the wrong animal, you can fly up to this place a bit in the north, and here you will find many low HP animals, which you can kill and skin. When I was doing it, it took me about 10 minutes to have a cooldown ready again, and I only have 305 item level, so you might be even faster than that. However, getting the white colored ice bears can take a lot of time and can be really frustrating, so I wish you the best of luck doing that. And that's it for today's video. Did you enjoy these different pets? Do you think there are some that I missed? Let me know in the comments. I hope I could help you, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, see ya!